reserve the third and fifth spots for gambling streams. Wait, wait. Kicks recommended seems to reserve the third and fifth spots for gambling streams. There's a chance that could be the case. I mean, listen, it's, I mean, obviously they're going to make money off of gambling. This would probably be smart to do. Who cares, bro? People are so weird about that. Yes, people are so weird about this. Like trying to prove, oh, it's actually gambling. Oh, they're actually, they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to get you to gamble. They want you to gamble. They want you to get, oh, they got, they got, who gives a fuck about this? Who cares? Who fucking cares? Just don't gamble, you fucking idiot. Holy shit. Dude, how is he so dumb? <laughs> Just don't gamble. Just don't gamble, forehead. Just don't gamble. Oh, oh, you're addicted to heroin. Oh, did someone get addicted to crack? Just stop smoking crack. Just stop. God, can we please do something? <laughs> like, there has to be a way to inject brain cells into people. There's got to be a way to do it. Just stop being poor. Exactly. Oh, you're homeless. Just go buy a house. <laughs> Just stop being depressed. Oh, my God, dude. Jesus Christ. This is truly, like, groundbreaking stuff here. Just insanely groundbreaking. Asmund, the type of guy to think he's immune to propaganda... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, Asmund advocating for banning gambling on Twitch and loot boxes? Wasn't Asmund gambling for advocating banning gambling on Twitch? Uh, it's possible that that's true, but he also has held this position from the very beginning, which is uh, actually it's fine because people should just be he, he's a very bootstraps kind of mentality person and he thinks that like he bu he buys into the conservative framework that it is a moral failing on your part if your life doesn't go well. So if you get addicted to a substance, that is a moral failing of yours. If you become homeless, it's a moral failing. Like he 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 has a lot of opinions, insane opinions about like uh what's the term um it's a very, like, individualistic, libertarian, conservative opinion. I'm forgetting the exact word. Yeah, there's literally a clip of him praising Twitch for kicking gambling off the platform because he advocated for it for years. Yeah, I mean, he can hold both of the opinions at the same time, by the way. He can hold the opinion, uh, not reaction, it's fine. He can hold the opinion that, like, personal accountability. Thank you. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is completely accurate. He literally blamed people for still living near an oil spill. Yes. He's big on personal accountability. So it, it's entirely possible. And I believe that he would hold the, the position of like, Twitch should ban gambling. But if you get addicted to gambling, that's on you. Let's watch it. Well, well, well. It's been a long road, gentlemen. But I think we're finally at the destination. Twitch has banned gambling. It's been over a year that I've been advocating for this. I've been talking about it. I've been saying how bad it is and how uh, corrosive I think that it is for the platform. And today, Twitch just put out a press release that they are banning almost all forms of gambling. Uh, I, except for sports betting. I don't really know why, but... Uh, sports betting and, like, poker are still a thing, from my understanding. Here in America, sports betting isn't gambling. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, a lot of the other stuff in terms of like slots, crypto gambling, stake.com, you know what it is. All that stuff is getting yeeted and deleted on October 18th. So I'm going to read you guys out the press release that Twitch did. We're going to talk about it just a little bit. Gambling content, this is from Twitch. Gambling content on Twitch has been a big topic of discussion in the community. It certainly has. And something we've been actively reviewing since our last policy update in this area. And they did do a previous policy update where you could not include aff affiliate links and refer... Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> Doesn't live... Don't live by an oil spill. Oh, that? That's my tooth blood. Don't fucking say that. <laughs> not gonna lie, I think sports gambling is fine. Um... I mean, it's, sports gambling is still really bad. There are still online casinos on Twitch with slot machine gambling. So they always have been. They just ban stake. Yeah, they just ban like the biggest like um, gambling sites and like garbage or whatever. His teeth had moral failings. This is the tooth blood guy. <laughs> 
I like the idea that people are finding out who Asmongold is and putting him together as a person on my stream. Like, their only knowledge of Asmongold is what I've said about it. Like, I just love that. That's amazing. It's so good. So good. Uh, I think they banned unregulated casinos. Yeah. Is not stake banned just because it's, like, unregulated? That's my understanding. Like, the they, yeah, they banned the more suspicious sponsors. Okay. When I first pulled up to kick, one of the top streamers uh, promoted free 25K, free to win, free to play. Jesus Christ. Fucking crazy. So anyways, <laughs> there was that. And then I saw this came out as well recently. This is funny as fuck. It's funny as fuck that you can see the po or sorry, it's funny as fuck that someone can explain to you um how or or people in your subreddit will talk about how Kick is recommending gambling streams to people no matter what. And that you can see this and be like, "What do I care? Just don't gamble." It's like, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> We're lacking so much. We're lacking so much in the brain department. This is the problem here. I will show you. Here is why the solution don't gamble doesn't fix. XUC leaks internal document showing that Kick only has a 2.7% conversion rate from stream viewers into gambling addicts. Okay. Um, what is this? Audience overlap for um, Kick and Stake. It. It's... 2.7% since you wanted stats and proof and whatnot. Here, here's some, here's some actual stats. Want to see it? Um, shared audience of 2.7% between the both of them. You want to do that with uh, Twitch? Or what? Yeah, they, I think they want to they wanna grow it. I, I don't know what it is with Twitch. It might even be bigger. Okay. Also, 2.7% is still insanely high. That is an insane. Also, like, yeah, two point two to four percent is also like a good conversion rate. Hassan jump scare. Ah, someone looked into it, and Instagram ads consider a point two percent conversion rate. Great, that's crazy. It's definitely bigger, also, since you need a VPN in most countries, right? Like, how much percent does it need to be for you to care about those who get addicted? Yeah. You get 100k viewers, uh, 2,700 of them become addicts. It's like, that's really bad. The thing XUT doesn't understand is you can milk thousands from a small number of, of people. Casinos aren't counting on everyone losing money. They're counting on a few people who will get addicted and lose massive amounts of money. Yeah, I mean, like, this would be like saying, like, um, yacht companies. We don't need to worry about yacht companies because it's just a couple people that buy yachts. You know? It's like, yeah, but that's the system. That's how the system is made to be. It's a, it's made for the whalers of the world, okay? Obviously, your average Joe Schmo is not buying a yacht, right? But you have a couple millionaires and billionaires buying, like, a couple yachts, and that's a fuck ton of money. It's it's same thing with, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, MMOs. MMOs is actually a better analogy. It's a perfect analogy. MMOs are generally speaking free to sign up and free to play. I'm putting free to play in the biggest quotation marks. But MMOs are propped up by the few whales, okay? The vast majority of people are not going to spend money. The vast majority of people that play um whatever, pick anything, Maple Story, Genshin Impact, uh Final Fantasy, just just literally pick any game, okay? Although Final Fantasy, you have to pay to play. But then you have the insane whalers. The insane whalers that prop up the game and they subsidize the game for everyone else. You know, like I had in so like I spent money on, when I played MMOs, but I didn't feel that bad about the money that I spent. Um, it was still in retrospect, honestly, I didn't spend that much considering how many hours of entertainment I got. I spent maybe a few hundred over the course of years and I got like thousands of hours. 
And if I was to compare that to like going and seeing a movie or buying a bunch of like AAA games, I definitely, it wasn't, it was not, it was fine. But there were people in my guild, there were fucking people in my guild that were raking up credit card debt so they could buy everything they wanted to buy in their MMO. One of my friends was like, yeah, I have to work overtime for the next like month because I my credit card debt is like really high. I'm like a few thousand dollars in debt. And I'm like, from like real life stuff, right? No, from all of my wailing. And I'm like, I need to live like this. <laughs> you don't need to live like this. <laughs> You really don't need to live like this. You know what I mean? You just, I you just can't. You just, addiction is rough. Yeah, I mean that that person had a straight up like they they straight up had a video game addiction. You know what I mean? That's literally me right now. No, no, don't say that. I once posted a job on an internet job board, paying one dollar to sign up for a game I played so I could get referral rewards. One of my invitees got addicted and spent ten thousand dollars. It made me feel like absolute doo-doo. Jesus Christ. I spent like 2k at the peak of Genshin and I was still only considered a dolphin. Jesus. And the companies prey on these people. It's a business tactic. Yeah, the business tactic is 90% plus people are not going to spend any money. Or they're going to spend like less than $10. But that small percent, we're going to milk the fuck out of them. Right? That's bad, you know? <laughs> That's bad. I can't believe Charlie was trying to compare gambling on stake.com to having an Amazon Prime subscription. I'm late. What did I miss? It's crazy to me. It's insane to me. It's insane. It's also a matter of people feeling like they matter. If real life is you beaten down and you're out of control, we're going to get control and live out like kings and MMOs. Oh, yeah. Cyclops, thank you for the 13 months. I got in big trouble on stake and we're gambling. I lost so much money. Jesus. Jesus. Christ, dude. Jesus. You can literally cancel Amazon orders. Dude, Amazon will let you return anything, Okay. They will literally let you return whatever the fuck you want to return whenever you want to return. It's like, yeah, there are people. So to be clear, let's let's talk about something, right? Let's talk about something. Because I saw this. There was one point that I saw a, a couple people with smooth brains trying to make. So let's just talk about this really quickly. Do, 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 do. Ah, lime green. I don't know why it automatically sets on the fucking lime green. But let's talk about something. So... Let's just assume Charlie's stance is correct, right? So Kick is sending people to stake. This has been proven. And stake is making people into gambling addicts, right? And ruining people's lives. Uh, Charlie was claiming that Twitch was sending people to Amazon... For like Twitch Primes and stuff like that. Basically, he was focused on the Prime aspect of it. Okay. Which, first of all, I disagree. <laughs> I feel like one out of every 10,000 customers or maybe 100,000 or whatever might go from Twitch to Amazon. I feel like most people are going from Amazon to Twitch. You know what I mean? And I've seen a couple people both in chat and on Twitter and everything being like, oh yeah, what? Do you think shopping addictions aren't real? And I just feel like these are not comparable. <laughs> I just feel like shopping addictions and gambling addictions are not comparable for starters. Okay? And second of all, I just, I think this is a huge leap to make. Versus this, like the leap from stake to gambling addiction. It's literally the business model that you want a few people to get an extreme gambling addiction so that they can subsidize everyone else. 
okay, versus Amazon. Amazon doesn't really give a shit about people who have shopping addictions. They kind of just want to make money off of like just prime subscriptions and actually selling the product. Like Amazon isn't actively targeting addicts. Amazon is just targeting people who want to buy products, right? Also, when you lose all of your money from gambling and you get in a fuck ton of trouble in your family or in your life or whatever, you're fucked. At least if you shopped on Amazon. I'll take their saying you're supporting Amazon's employee practices. You literally are incapable of listening to the words that I'm saying, so I'm banning you. Because if you heard what I said at the very beginning, which clearly you didn't because you have like cum in your ears or whatever the fuck, I am specifically responding to the people who have brought this up as an argument. Don't worry, I'll roast you next. I'll explain why you're also fucking stupid. Uh, Squo, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. Also, the, yeah, this I stand by this statement, by the way. I, I've said this since the beginning and I stand by this, this statement. Uh, Amazon is also so ubiquitous. There's no way you weren't exposed to it previous to seeing Twitch. Exactly. Whereas maybe you didn't know about Steak.com before you went on Kick. There's no way you're an American and you, you've you never heard of Amazon before. There's just no fucking way. There's just no way. Uh, but let's talk about something really quickly. So Steak actively is trying to target people to become addicts. Amazon is not targeting people to become shopping addicts. Okay? That's not what they're doing. Second of all, Steak, websites that uh, operate on... Like, sorry, websites that their job is to make themselves as addictive as possible. They don't care about improving their product. They care about giving you the best dopamine rush you can get so that you keep coming back. Amazon actually tries to make products that are good and tries to make a UI that's good. They actually are trying to make something that's that's beneficial. It's uh, if you look into like the SEC's definition of like, for example, like multi-level marketing schemes. Their major definition is, are you making money off of the people that are a part of your uh, company or are you trying to sell an actual product? And I feel like Amazon is still trying to actually sell a product. Steak is not trying to. They're just trying to get people addicted. Also, I just disagree with the premise that people are getting shopping addictions because of Amazon. And again, when you lose like ten thousand dollars to a fucking gambling addiction that money's gone that money is gone it's completely fucking gone when you spend all your money on like a shopping addiction and you spend 10 grand you can still recoup that money you can still take a step back and be like what the f why did i just buy fucking 10 armani bags i have to return this immediately I have to go back and return this. And Amazon lets you return literally everything. Okay? It's all about the motives that it preys on. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Also, you get taxed on your wins. And if you don't report your losses, you can lose your house to the IRS. Happened to my coworker's husband. Jesus. Gambling is like immediate money loss and the addict immediately tries again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I spend 10K on Taylor Swift tickets, that money is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to leverage, you have something to leverage with things you buy. You When you lose five grand on a gambling site, it's gone. I had a problem with this. Yeah, and I had to learn the hard way. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Let's, one second before we go any further. Okay. We'll talk about the Amazon employee um, conditions now. People kept bringing up this argument in response to Pokey saying that she didn't want to go to kick because her morals didn't align with that. And I saw a lot of people, I saw one person that quote tweeted Pokey's tweet and they were like, um, I work at Amazon and my job fucking sucks and they exploit the fuck out of my labor. Oh, but so much for your morals. And it's like, dude... Dude, she never said Amazon's working conditions were good. She said that gambling was really bad and she would feel bad moving to a platform that supports gambling. She never said Amazon's employee practices were good. Like, that's not Pokey's fault and or Pokey's 
claim. And then I've seen like people be like, well, yeah, well, if 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 you think Amazon is bad and you think Kick is bad, then maybe you should quit streaming. To which like you just live in a fucking different reality, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's just insane to me. That's just you are incredible. You just I want to live in the fantasy land that you live in. OK. For a TV, the world is thinking. This it has the same energy. The people talking about Amazon's working conditions, by the way, it has the same uh, energy as the people being like, oh, you don't like capitalism. You're a communist. Well, then why do you have an iPhone? <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> like, literally, okay. All right. Okay. I'm a mechanic whose labor is exploited. Everyone driving a car has shit moral thanks. It's like, yeah, it's like everything. Every time you buy literally anything or go to work anywhere or do anything, someone is being exploited. Okay? That's a, literally the entire premise of the good, the good place. It doesn't mean you just stop caring about the bad. You can still try to reduce how bad your exploitation is. Right. So like I, I admit just like all of us should admit that just living in the United States and existing as a person, you are exploiting someone's labor. Someone you have probably exploited someone's labor every day for the past. Forever. Right. It doesn't mean you go to eat out dinner at like the Chili's and you're like, mm, well, I'm exploiting labor anyway, so I'm not going to tip the server. You know, like you're still going to try and reduce how much harm you're causing as much as you can. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to solve the iPhone problem, but I can make a genuine difference in this waitress's life today. I can tip 20 percent, 25 percent. OK. You know what I mean? And it's the same shit. You know what I mean? Uber Eats exploits its drivers dumb fallacy when they go down that route. Yeah, it's the same shit. It's like, yeah, I know I'm exploiting labor by streaming on Amazon. I want, I'm a, you think I'm not aware of that? You think I'm not aware that Amazon fucking sucks? <laughs> Every other day I talk about how much I hate Amazon. But I'm not going to do a, a, a bigger evil and go to kick. Like, I'm not going to start actively trying to become a worse version of myself. Like, please, like, hello. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So anyways, okay. Yeah, if you do work and someone else is taking some off the top, then you're being exploited. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, can we all agree that like, can we all just agree for two seconds that Twitch is exploiting the fuck out of its streamers? It seems so funny to be like, Oh, so you support, oh, so you don't want to move to kick, which means you support Amazon, which means you're okay with exploiting other people. And it's like, Twitch takes half of my paycheck every month. <laughs> like, hello? How did you get that? How did you get that information, you know? <laughs> if you stream on Twitch, you might as well go rob a bank because you're so evil anyways, right? <laughs> And yeah, this this is this shit makes me so mad. This shit makes me so fucking mad. Sure, A is bad, but B is really bad too. Why don't you talk about B more? You must think B is good. I hate people that argue like this. It's so fucking annoying. It's so fucking annoying. Okay, I was gonna watch this video on like why gambling. Let's tr let's try a little bit. It's a video on like what makes gambling, I guess, like super addictive in a way that other things aren't has been trained that when the little light comes on it's one of those sessions where I can now get food and it knows that if I press this lever 10 times after a little bit of a delay I'll get some food if I press the lever 10 more times I'll get some more food it understands the task so what do we have here we have first a signal the light coming on saying it's one of those sessions we're starting one of those then the monkey does the work and then with a delay it gets the reward and what everyone initially thought was dopamine would go up after the reward.
That's not when it goes up. It goes up when the signal comes on. Oh, yeah. This is the same thing with gambling. You don't actually feel good after you win. You feel good um, once you, like, pull the lever, Kronk. Also, Dragon Llama, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's the anticipation of potentially winning. Which is what makes gambling so, so dangerous. It's because, like, you will lose more than you'll win when you gamble. Because, obviously, the casino makes money off of you. Um, but your brain will never register that you shouldn't be... That you need to stop. Because you're getting a dopamine hit regardless if you win or lose. Similar to buying a video game, super excited to buy it, but then it just goes on, on the back. Oh yeah, the Steam Summer Sale. It's like, ooh, what games am I going to get during the Steam Summer Sale? What games am I going to get that I'm never going to play? Oh boy. <laughs> but anyways. And you'll keep trying and losing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, to be clear, Chad, I want to be, I want to be, uh, I want to be, let me be clear. Okay. I'm not saying, all right, but just just in case there's someone around here that's saying something, I'm not saying that it means that we need to like ban casinos or that um, there's no such thing as going to a casino and being responsible. I think if you go to a casino on your birthday and you're like, how much money am I willing to lose? You know, I'm going to bring, I'm bring $200 with me. I'm cool to lose $200. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're paying for, like, the experience, right? The problem is that if you go into a casino, as it is right now, they don't want you to leave. There's no, like, we're going to stop you at some point. Similar to, like, or not, like, similar to, but, like, you know if you go to a bar, if you're way too drunk, the bartender will cut you off. And they'll be like, okay, you clearly you should not be having any more. <laughs> you really should not be having any more. Casinos don't have your best interest in heart. They're never going to do that to you. Ever. Ever. Casinos will cut you off if you win too much. You know? <laughs> Learning why casinos don't have windows was eye-opening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, anyways... There's a such thing as, like, responsible gambling. The problem is that gambling addictions are so detrimental for your health that, like, we can't just allow children to be exposed to gambling on these fucking platforms and, like, actively ruin people's lives, right? I think that online... Yeah, I think online casinos should be illegal. I, I, I understand. Like, I feel like going to a physical casino, getting the experience, feeling the money go out of your wallet... It's different, but online casinos being extremely accessible, like the way that they are. When I say casinos, by the way, sorry, I mean like slots. You know, uh, I'm I'm fifty fifty on poker. I'm fifty fifty on like uh, online casinos that allow gambling for poker. I think it's I think it's probably okay, but slots is just like no. No, you know what I mean? Uh, I work in the gambling industry. Regulated gambling sites generally have very strong, responsible gaming teams that will check in on people and ban them if they're showing signs. Not saying online casinos are good, but regulation really does help. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Slots is just by far the, like, the worst. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. What do you think of sports betting? I feel like sports betting is like no different from like the stock market. Just it's gambling. You're just betting money. Okay. All right. Regulation makes a tremendous difference. Yeah. I just don't see a universe where like there is a net good provided to society by allowing online slots. You know? Online slots should just be banned, in my opinion. I don't even think we should, I don't even think it's necessary to like regulate it. I just think it should be banned outright. I think we could have like online gambling for poker if it was well regulated, like genuinely well regulated of like, okay, you've lost enough money today. We're cutting you off. 
I think that that's good. You know what I mean? I think that that's probably fine. But slots is just, I just can't, you know? All right. <laughs> 